Hello students, welcome to Sorbsys classes. Today we will be solving the CSIR UGC NET JRF exam question from June 2011. We will be solving questions which came from the number theory portion. So let's start off with the question. The question that we will be solving today is that the number of elements in the set M such that 1 less than equal to M less than equal to 100 and M and th not 100, 1000 and M and 1000 are co-prime. So this is the set that we have been given. So number of elements, the options are A100, B250, C300 and D400. So we have to find out the number of elements in the set where M is less, M is greater than equal to 1 and less than equal to 100 and m and 100 are co-prime so for this we'll use the Euler function now what is the Euler function so Euler function or it is also known as the Euler quotient function Euler quotient function so in this function what we what is done is that it counts it counts the positive integers up to a certain number that number can be n such that the numbers that we find such that the positive integers that we'll get or we can say the positive integers are relatively prime means they are prime to our a number n so this is what we have to find out and it is denoted by symbolically it is denoted by phi of n this is nothing but a cos Euler function so now if n the number n is equal to p1 to the power k1 into p2 to the power k2 p3 to the power k3 and it will go on till pt to the power kt where you can say that this p1 p2 p3 these are all prime numbers these are all prime numbers and k1 k2 are their powers these are all prime numbers prime numbers so in that case in that case therefore phi n means the number of positive integers which are relatively prime to n will be given by n into 1 minus 1 by p1 into 1 minus 1 by p2 and this will go on till 1 minus 1 by pt this is the formula so this is this is the formula that we will be using over here similarly since we have to find out up till 1000 now 1000 can be written down as prime factors into 2 cube into 5 cube basically this is 8 and this is 125 so 8 into 125 that is 2 cube into 5 cube so this is what we know so then if this is the number that we will be giving, getting then we can write that phi of 1000 will be basically equal to 1000 into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 5 so this will be equal to 1000 into 1 by 2 into 4 by 5 so this comes down to 2000 by 5 2000 by 5 is nothing but equal to 400 so 400 is the option D so D is the correct option so today we have solved a number theory question which came in the June 2011 paper of CSIR UGC net JRF paper We'll be solving many such questions in the subsequent videos. Till then, keep watching Sources classes videos for more solutions and content. Thank you very much.